Dan Joffe, criminal lawyer here. One of the questions I'm, you know, I'm asked a lot is, what should I say to the police if I'm arrested? And the answer is, for the most part, say nothing. The mistake that many people make is they believe that by speaking to the police when arrested that, you know, they can talk their way out of it. Or even more commonly, if they refuse, you know, people think if they refuse to answer questions, that it makes them look guilty. You know, the most important thing to understand is that it's just, it's never up to the accused to prove they're innocent. It's up to the government to prove that you, the accused, is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And, and I could speak a great length about all the nuances of what that means, but look at it this way. When the police arrest you, they believe you've committed a crime, okay? When asking questions, you know, they may appear or they're trying to appear that they have your best interests in mind. But you know what they don't? What they're doing is they're doing their job, which is looking for evidence to reinforce their belief that you're guilty of a crime. You know, and they may act, you know, very friendly and polite. And, and that part, you know, they may be sincere, but they're also trying to gain your trust to get you to talk. And there is almost never, never anything to be came, to be gained for you know, an accused to speak into the police at the time of an arrest. And, and never, absolutely never waive your right to speak to a lawyer because you believe it makes you look guilty if you don't answer questions. I mean, there are very specific rules on this. Only on the rarest of occasions, you know, for reasons of an alibi, would you ever want to speak to police, but only do that after speaking to a lawyer that you trust. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out.